Okay, hello everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. How are you? Fine, thank hello, you. Teacher. Fine, thank you. Okay, good, good. Hello. Getting ready with all the with all the equipment. Just give me a little second. Okay, good. Okay, now here it is. This is the, the main point now. Okay, good. So then we're going to have a little talk, okay, a little review, okay, of what we did during these two weeks. Today we have the last. Uh, we have a little review about. when we got oh, here it is here it is it's hiding from me okay now it's ready okay good so this is the in the last two weeks okay this is what we were Studying, we were talking about the count and non-count nouns. Well, we started with the food pyramid. Remember, we were talking about food and we were talking about likes and dislikes. Uh, then we also talk about the uh, count and non-count nouns. We also have a uh, common breakfast or food in different countries. And then we have the, the use of uh, adverbs of frequency when talking about food. And then probably I think this one, the fre uh, frequency adverbs is important to remember. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn how to use adverbs. Then eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. Okay. Yes. Okay. We are going to listen to part of this uh, of this video. Just to remember the use and the position of the frequency app. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This 
Okay, so this is basically what I needed you to see. Okay, just remember the the percentage in frequency always is a hundred percent. Usually, you know, it's ninety or eighty-five. Often about sixty, fifty. Sometimes it's like probably forty. Hardly ever twenty, and never zero, right? But the position of the words in the sentence is. I always stay. Siempre va en medio del sujeto y del verbo, right? For example, when you have uh, a person says, I always take a shower. I usually take a shower. I often take a shower. I sometimes take a shower. I hardly ever take a shower. Or I never take a shower. But, acuérdense que hay uno que se puede usar en formas diferentes. ¿Cuál es? Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Yes. Sometimes can be where? At the beginning, I uh, say sometimes I take a shower. Okay. Or I take a shower sometimes. Okay. So this is something that is. Uh, it means I take a shower 100 For example, this means 0% of the time. Always equals. Never equals 0%. Okay, and these are the percentages, right? 180, 70, 50, 25, and zero percent. Then you have this one. Okay, this is the word sometimes. Okay. This is the one that I wanted to show you. This is in, okay, all of them are always in the same position. But sometimes, es el que se sale de la regla, right? It says sometimes, puede estar al inicio, sometimes I eat breakfast, I sometimes eat breakfast, or I eat breakfast sometimes. Okay, so you see three different positions, and the three are correct. Okay, question? No problem. Okay, remember that also we have uh, always, usually, often, almost always. Okay, there are some other adverbs that we can use. Let me see here. Probably as a reminder that you have always. You can also have almost. Almost always. You can say. Uh, almost. Never. Okay. Then this one, for example, when you go to almost always, almost never, close to the extremes, cerca de los extremos, right? But eh, no se usa con almost usually, or almost sometimes, okay? Or almost often, hey, no, solo va con los extremos, right? Casi siempre, casi nunca, right? Almost, okay? Almost never. ¿Qué es otra? can use this hardly ever. Okay, these are similar. Hardly ever. Casi nunca, right? And ever? ¿Cómo se utiliza ever? Do you remember? ¿O qué significa? ¿Alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez? Ajá, en pregunta, ¿verdad? Nunca. Nunca. We say, for example, I don't ever, I never. Then, for example, uh, en pregunta se dice, do you ever? Do you ever? Puede ser casi siempre. Eh, depends. But here, for example, you use 
Do you ever cocina alguna vez? Okay. Do you ever cook? Uh, do you ever uh, talk to uh, what to your mom? Okay. Okay. To your dad. Right. You say for example. Do you ever talk to your dad? Do you ever talk to your son? Okay, do you ever talk to anybody? Okay, this is if at least one time in your life. Do you ever? Okay, so these are you know, questions. For example, uh, have you ever? And then there are other combinations. Like for example, forever, they say for siempre, right? But this is casi que eternamente, right? When you say forever. And you will find sometimes similar words to that one. Okay, what else? Otra palabra que conozcan que no esté aquí incluida en los... Esto, esos son adverbios de frecuencia, right? Que tan seguido nosotros hacemos ciertas cosas. Okay, any other one? Alguna que le gustaría a ustedes compartir de ahí that we haven't said it o que les dije la vez pasada. Seldom, remember? Rare, rarely. Okay, what else? What was the other one? I, use, I usually go to the gym. I usually go to the gym, yes. That's the sentence, correct? Using the word usually, general. Okay, I rarely go to the gym. I seldom go to the gym. I hardly ever go to the gym. I always go to the gym. Okay, so you can use that one, right? I sometimes. Okay, remember sometimes I go to the gym. Sometimes I go to the gym. Okay, the question is, do you ever go to the gym? What would you answer? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta en este momento? You ever go to the gym? Yes, I go to the gym. They say, for example, I usually go to the gym. I never go to the gym. I think never. Uh-huh. Yes, I never go to the gym. I never go to the gym. I never go to the gym. Okay, right? So these are the answers, okay? Marlene, how about you? Do you ever go to the gym? Mm, I I never go to the gym. <laughs> okay. okay. Then you say no, I never go to the gym. I don't need it. Okay. They say no, I never go to the gym. Good. And well, Maria del Carmen, do you ever go to the gym? I never go to the gym. Okay, no, I never go to the gym. Okay, now ask a question using do you ever. Okay, piensa en una pregunta que do you ever. Do you ever, uh, for example, do you ever drive a car? Do you ever uh, eat, a, do you ever eat, uh, let me see, do you ever eat chicken? Uh, do you ever uh, drink soda? Okay, do you ever drink coffee uh, after class? Do you ever drink coffee before you go to bed? Okay, for example, Tatiana, do you ever drink coffee before you go to bed? Uh, I don't like that. Okay, they say, no, I never. I never. 
I no. never drink coffee. Okay. Yes, no, I never drink coffee. All right. Then, uh, and then you can say, then you can use here the dislike. Also practice. Say, no, I never drink coffee because I don't like it. Okay. No problem. And do you ever, do you ever study uh, mathematics, Ruth? No, I, I never. Study, study mathematics. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, no llevo esas ya. Because, uh -huh. because yes, I I'm not studying mathematica, mathematics anymore. 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 Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Because I don't study mathematics anymore. Okay, good. What else? What else? What else? Do you ever... I always study mathematics for my son. Ah, okay. I always study mathematics with my son. Okay. With my son. Uh -huh, yes, you study with him. Okay, good. What else? Do you ever, for example, do you ever... Uh, do you ever go to bed at 2 a.m.? Do you ever go to bed at 2 a.m.? Do you ever go to bed at 2 a.m.? No, I never, I never go to bed that time. At that time, very good, okay? No, I never go to bed at that time, okay? Then you can say, I always go to bed at 10 p.m., at 11 p.m., okay? And then you can use more frequency after okay so you see the importance right the importance of using the the frequency adverb and you can uh, connect okay you can connect the frequency adverbs with all the uh, likes and dislikes for example do you do you ever do you put ever, the advert of frequency do, you, do ever, you ever go to the dentist do you ever? Do you ever go to the dentist? Do you ever go to the dentist? Okay. Do you ever go to the dentist? That's another one, right? So you can say, no, I never go to the dentist. I don't like to go to the dentist. Okay. No, I never go to the dentist because I am scared. Okay. I am afraid. Okay, of the dentist. Oh, no, I never got to the dentist because it's too expensive, too much money. Okay, uh, no, I, oh yes, I go to the dentist every six months. Yes, I go to the dentist when it is necessary. Okay. So these are, you know, possible answers. Okay, so you can uh, start giving more elaborated answers. Okay, another question. Do you ever, do you ever drink, uh, let's say, soda? No, I don't like in soda. No, I never drink soda. It's bad for my body. Okay, no, I never drink soda because it's bad for my body. Okay. No, I never drink soda because it has too much sugar. No, okay. I never drink soda. Okay, uh -huh. because? Because it's bad for my body. Because it's bad for my body, okay? Good, okay, do you? Uh -huh. Yes, I usually drink soda because like me because i like it okay 
Yes. Because I, I like it. All right, good. I usually mm. drink soda because I like it. Okay, you okay. see, this is, this is the other, the other, the other position, right? What you like and what you don't like. So, no problem. Okay, what else? Do you ever? Do you ever speak English? Do you ever speak English at work? Do you ever speak English at work? I never speak English at work, but I always speak English in my class. Okay. Classes. In my class. Very good, okay? You see, this is the kind of question, right? What else? Do you ever speak English uh, with your friends? No, I never speak English with my friend because my friends had the English. Hate. 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 English. Hate. Porque had es sombrero, ¿verdad? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. No. Yes. Uh -huh. Hate. Hate. My friend. But uh, I sometimes speak English with my... Mis clientes o... My, my clients. My clients. My client. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice answer. Okay, so you see how you're using the frequency hours. Sometimes, never, day. Okay, good. Now, this is uh, what you have to uh, what you have to practice with, okay? This kind of... Uh, this kind of sentences, the structure. And ya eh, acostumbrarse ya ir a dando las cosas más largas, ok, tratar de elaborar, en inglés se dice elaborate, elaborar estructuras más complejas, ok, para que vayan conectando ideas. Así ya se van sintiendo más este, como seguros a la hora de hablar, ok. En, you see, simple vocabulary, ya tienen mucho vocabulario, solo tienen que ir uh, uniendo las ideas, right? Just try to put them together. Okay, so that's the, the next one. Another topic that we that we had here was the article about a special food. For example, you will read and discuss article that was the reading section. That was something else. And Recently, okay, and this one we have the uh, we were talking mostly about sports vocabulary. Then we have the how to ask questions with WH questions. Okay, and we have a what, what sports do you play? Who, who do you play baseball with? Remember this is structure, right? Uh, with is at the end, con quien, right? Who do you play? Uh, who do you play baseball with? And then this is going to be at the end always. Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? And what time do you start? Okay, so these are WH questions. The word for a uh, the difference is that when you ask a WH question, you request you are asking for a lot more information, okay? They are called information questions. También se le llama pregunta de información because you have to give more. To say, are you a student? Yes. Okay, this is a yes no question. But when you say, what do you study? Well, I study English in the evening. I study um, uh, engineering in the university in the morning. 
Okay, and I also study uh, what, for example, uh, a mechanic. Okay, something that you, all the things that you study. Okay, and then we have the, you will learn sound natural after using can and can't. And this one we did it well. Okay, learn how to ask questions using can for ability. Can you speak English? Can you work? Okay, remember this one probably. Just uh, is generalmente two. Oh no, I can't. I can sing very. El error común es separar el verbo con un to. Okay. But remember, I say he can sing very well. No, he can to sing. Okay. Ese es uno de los eh, era, errores comunes o más frecuentes cuando se usa el can, right? But remember, this one is can he can sing very well. Uh, she can't, el verbo va inmediatamente después del can. Okay. Y el can, also, no se cambia en la tercera persona, okay. Okay, para todos es lo mismo. Can you, can I, can he, can she, can we, and can they. Okay, and then you see, can you sing, can you cook, can you work, okay, can you can you breathe? Okay. Can you uh, uh, can you love? Can you breathe? So abilities, right? Things that we can do. Hasta aquí no hay pregunta, ¿verdad? Vamos bien. No problem. No problem. Okay. Then we have, uh, we learned vocabulary about abilities and talents. Este fue lo último que vimos, talking about talents. And then the unique American, the races that we studied last night. And that's it. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the test. Okay, eh, I, siempre les recu yo siempre recomiendo que cuando se hace un listening test, en este caso, que se tiene la plataforma, you can, I always recommend to abrirlo en una, que está en aparte, okay, y solo escuchar la primera vez. Okay, just listen. Page 45, exercise 4. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 3. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 4. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay, once you have listened to it, then you, you already have an idea, okay? And the, the first time is good to listen only because uh, we need to, uh, let's say, uh, make our brain thing in English, right? Then we push our brain, we force our brain to listen and think in English with 
without translating. Okay, without translating into Spanish. Then that's why I recommend to do it that way. Then the second time you play again. Page 45. And then Exercise go, four. Listening. Okay, you got it. It has to the to instructions say listen to four people describe their home. Number the pictures from one to four. And then it says type the numbers in letters and uh, say do not need capital letters or a period. Okay, so no capital letters, not period. Just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 3. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 4. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay. So which one is which? Okay, then instruction says number the picture from one to four. Number one sería three. The number one is four. One is four. Wait a minute. So number number one is three. Number one is three. No, number number one three. Right. And, uh, you should write the the number. Yes, but number one is number four. one is four. Oh, and number one number one is it's. Where should I write? It doesn't let, let me write. It's three. Number one is three. Pero no me, no me three. 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 No me three. Wait a minute. Nos vamos por orden de... Number one. Eh, number one. Just, just arriba de, de cada una de las imágenes. Number four Aquí. is mm -hmm. one. Teacher, you should el, el el recuerdo de la primera está justo arriba de la segunda imagen. Abajo de, del audio, teacher, está el espacio. De... Ahí, arriba, arriba. De la arriba, arriba. Oh, yes. Exacto, ahí. ahí. Okay. Es 3. And this one? Okay, I don't see it here. I'm blind. Okay, this is number 3. Yes. Okay, and this one? Number two right. is, is four. Yes. 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 Four. Yes. Four. Yes. Four. Yes. Four. Four. Yes. 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 The number in letters. In letters. In letters. In letters. Okay. Three. Okay. Good. Four. Very good. The next one. Two. Two. One. Two. one or two? Two. 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 This is two. Two, teacher. Number three, two. 
and this is one. 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 Okay, it says here no capital letters, here, no capital letters or a period. Sin, okay, aquí no capital letter, no. Only three. Okay, four, two, and one. Oh, yes. What is the word? ¿Cómo se dice? Congratulations. 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 Okay, good. Congratulations. Okay, so then this is, for example, that you identify the listening some words, right? This is about complete the conversation with some, any, uh, let's say uh, what it is. Mm -hmm. There's a question if it is a negative sentence, if it is a negative sentence. Okay, we have to pay attention to that. Okay, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some. 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 Okay. Okay, do we have any? Any lemon? Good. No, we need to no, buy. We need to buy and some. 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 Okay. Amanda, we need to buy some. Some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some letters too. Okay, good. And select on I say oh I do one. Any. Any. Negative any. Any. Negative. Okay, we don't want any. Then Amanda, then let's get. Um, some. Some. Um, some. Some olives. Let's get some olives, right? So it's an affirmative sentence. Then the next one is Adam. I don't. Any. any. I don't any. want. Yes, this is a negative um, one. Any. And, but let's put. Some. 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 Some affirmative. Okay, some cucumber, cucumber sounds good. Hey, okay, let's put some to share. Uh huh. Um, some. Okay. Yes, that's it. Excellent. Congrats. 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 Okay. Congrats. So have, remember affirmative. Some. Interrogative. Correct. Correct. Interrogative. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. The next one is the choose the correct adverse of frequency. This is what we were. Checking. It says read the following sentence and choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the adverse of frequency. A position. Okay. Never I play soccer on weekend. Is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 They usually study English at night. Correct. 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 Sometimes she feels very tired. Um, sometimes. Um, correct. 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 Yes. Correct. Hey, it is correct. correct. He often calls her in the morning. Correct. 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 And you listen to me. To me. me. Okay. Incorrect. 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 Boom. Okay, congratulations. You see? Teacher, I have a mm. question. Yes. With the sentence three, I confused because I choose incorrect, but when check, I see it is correct. Mm -hmm. Why is correct? Now this is this For is the verb. 
No, this is what I was explaining. Esto es lo que estábamos viendo que les expliqué con la, eh, la posición de los uh, uh, adverbs of frequency. All of them are between. Van entre el sujeto y el verbo, right? But sometimes, les dije que se salía de la regla, right? Sometimes has three different positions. I sometimes she feels very tired. Uh, she, fe uh, she sometimes feels tired. Or she feels very tired sometimes. And the three forms are correct. And I can use the verb in all forms. In past tense. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. And for example, sometimes she felt tired in past tense. Okay. Sometimes you will feel tired okay, in future. Okay, yes, in the tense, the verb, no problem. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay. Remember the frequency adverbs is only the, the how often we do things, right? The frequency. And then the tense, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, wait. Voy a hacerle un ratito de aquí para tomar la foto de la presentación. Luego regresamos. Okay, before we can look at some of the goals. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, one more. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's go back to. To where we were. Okay, good. So then this one says choose the correct meaning of WH question words. Okay, this is the WH. Go over the WH question words. What do they mean? Choose the best meaning. For example, who? Time, people, place, people, people choice, people. Things, people. Okay. People. Okay. people, 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 where? people, where, people, place, 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 okay. place, place, uh place, -huh. place, 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 yes, place, 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 yes, when, time, 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 time. 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 Yes, and which choice? Choice. choice. Selection. And what? Thinking object. 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 Thinking or object. Okay, guys, we're good. There you go. Okay. Very good. Congratulations for me. Okay, good. Now the next one. Hay alguna duda hasta el momento de lo que hemos visto? Si bien es el, el repaso de los mismos temas, de los frequency adverbs, then we have the vocabulary, then we have the, also the question words. Okay, it's the review. The use of can and can. Okay, to express Ability to read the following sentences. Choose either can or can. Just type the word in no capital letters or previous letters. Okay, here. I am hungry. Can. I can. 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 I can. Okay. No teacher, I can. 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 Okay, remember can and can. Can and can. Can and can. Okay. Okay. Can. Can. El negative is going to be a little bit, un poquito más largo. Can. Can. Okay. 
A cheetah. Can. 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 Maria. Can. 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 This one. Um, I can't. Can. I can't. Can. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't. And a baby? Can't. I can't. Can. can. A baby can. 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 Okay. A baby can. And there you have. No questions? No problem? No question. No problem, teacher. No problem. Then we have one more. I think this is the last one. Fill in the blanks and complete the, and complete conversations, right? Fill in the blanks and complete conversations. Uh, select the option that completes the two fields in each sentence or question. For example, here, do you live? Does you live? Do you live? Or does you live? Do you live? Who, one, do two, you live? one do two, you three, live? four. Do you live? 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 How about this one? Don't live. Don't live. I don't live. I don't live. I live. I live. Okay. Linda. Does does it have a jar? Does does have does have does have does have does have does uh, okay. Good. Next one. It does. 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 Yes. Does. Yes. Does. The next one. Do you, live, nice. do you live? Do you live alone? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live alone? No. Don't live. No, I don't. I don't live. I don't live. I don't. I live. I don't. I live. I don't. I live. Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? That sounds nice. Do you, do you have? have any, do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Yes, I do. I do. do have. I do. I do have. have. I have four brothers. Does have? Does 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 have? Have. Does 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 have? Have. Does your house have? Have. Does your house have many rooms? Many bedrooms. Next one. Do you have? 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 Do you Yes, I do. I do. I do. Do I do? Okay, let's see the reality. What happens? Room. Okay. All of them are correct. Okay. Nos sacamos diez. Okay, good. Congratulations, people. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nice, excellent. Okay, so these are the use of do, does, 
Okay, this is what we have started. Uh, then we have the use of can and can, uh, WX words. We have a uh, correct and incorrect for uh, frequency adverbs. And then we have the a complete conversation with some and any and the listening, right? And the listening was a description of places. Okay, good. So this is the end of the material that we have. A class, class, the classes terminan mañana, okay? Not today. Así que no se me emocionen todavía. Eh, mañana vamos a hacer un repaso con el con el midterm test ok, para repasar los temas que vimos antes para que todo les quede como fresquito, veo que esto último está bien lo tienen claro, right so tomorrow we're going to do for example in this one tomorrow we have to review the there to be and have Okay, we have the also the simple present verb. So we have some. We uh, have a part of the activities uh, orales, right? For you to practice English in an oral way. So I have like two or three more acti or oral activities. To me. Okay. Okay. Now, comments, algunas preguntas, comentarios, algo que le gustaría repasar, aunque no esté ahorita ya en este tema, pero que le gustaría eh, saber inglés para que lo podamos desarrollar mañana también. Se puede incluir. Mañana, como les digo, vamos a hacer. Un... Creo que lo anterior fue más fácil, pero igual hay que solo para refrescarlo. Eh, Tengo dos actividades más que vamos a hacer de práctica oral. Eh, pero ahí puedo adaptar algo si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta o algún tema que les gustaría reforzar un poco más. Feel free. No sé, vocabulario, grammar, gramática, pronunciación. Eh, no. Los verbos dichos. Verbos en presente, presente. O en presente, ok. Presente y pasado. Presente y pasado, ok. Podemos ver algo, de, les puedo dar algo de eso. Ah, porque quiero verlos. Si sí, en la siguiente creo que ya van a ver verbos en pasado. Podemos ver un poquito de eso de los verbos en pasado. Yes. What else? Sí, sure. Yes. I had 450 verbs I can share. In the group. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Sí, está okay. bien. No problem. Todo eso es, este material se puede ir eh, compartiendo y se puede ir, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Haciendo un archivo, right? So then we have verbs in past tense and present. Okay, good. So you can also practice them. Okay, ¿qué otro tema? En pronunciación. Pronunciation and intonation. Okay, eso vamos a hacer otro ejercicio para pronunciación e in, y para la entonación, right? And intonation. So this is something that we are going to, to practice. Eh, for example, reading sentences. Eh, Se recuerdan que, por ejemplo, en español nosotros unimos eh, oraciones, right? O palabras. Okay, in English, they do the same thing, right? For example, when you say, um, let me see. Here. Error. Okay. ¿Cómo pronuncian esa palabra? O esas dos palabras. Así, eh, rápido, digamos. Tell her. Okay. Tell her. Uh -huh. Tell her. Okay, tell her. 
Fíjense que cuando ya se habla, las personas nativas omiten la H. Entonces lo pronuncian aquí. Teller. Teller. Uh -huh. Entonces uno dice, ah, pero no, es, es, bien, pero es que a veces uno dice, no entiendo cuando escucho, pero no es que no entienda, es simplemente que no está acostumbrado a escuchar esas, eh, digamos, como uniones que hacen de, 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 de palabras, ¿no? Right? So, for example, you say this one. Ya me sepan uno, se les hace más fácil las demás. ¿Esta cómo sería? Telling. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Telling. 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 En un inglés más formal, se va a decir tell him. Cuando se habla pausado, digamos que digamos que eso es lo más correcto. Pero muchas veces cuando hablamos, incluso en español, unimos palabras. Say, tell him. Y por ejemplo, ya hemos oído cuando nosotros decimos, hágase más allá. Más allá. No se oye, no se oye el hágase más allá. Right? Y esto que cuando nos agarra el salvadoreño decimos, hágase más allá. Con J. Right. Okay. Desde la S, en vez de la S, este para dentro de ah, right. no, pero eso no es, eso son españoles. Mira. Súbase para arriba, Sube, dije, subes hacia arriba, bajas hacia arriba. Uh, that's uh, Spanish, right? This is, pero eso sucede en muchas regiones, right? Por eso es que a veces eh, no es. Sí, de, de, de un país, right? Okay. What else? What else do we have? Entonces vamos a ver algunas de esas pronunciaciones, palabras y oraciones para leer un poquito más rápido, right? So, for example, okay. the, uh, that's going to be the, the, the topics. No sé si tienen alguno más. So we have verbs, pronunciation, the two activities, and the review of units one to three. Sure. Yes. For tomorrow, uh, what is the difference between well and good? Well and good. Correct. Ah, that's very easy. Well and okay. good. Okay. Because well is an adverbio. Okay, it's a utiliza para eh, hablar de acciones. For example, I speak English well. I play football well. I sing well. Canto bien, juego fútbol bien. Okay, I, for example, I, what else can I tell you? I cook very well. Okay, cocino muy bien. And good is an adjective. And good is an adjective. Que ese es para modificar un sustantivo. Por ejemplo, I am a good cook. Eh, se puede decir que es lo mismo, pero dicho de diferente manera. I am a good cook. Soy buen cocinero. I am, I cook very well. Yo cocino muy bien. Ok, I am a good cook. Buen cocinero. I cook very well. Cocino muy bien. Ok, I sing very well. Canto muy bien. And I am a good singer. Soy un buen cantante. Entonces, good es un sustento, es un adjetivo y well es un adverbio. Okay. okay thank you. you. All right. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Este, esas, yo, esas okay. acciones, este, esas acciones que dice donde se usa well, well, well. Este, well eh, serían eh, del presente, del momento o acciones no. que pueden ser del que pasado, ya pasaron pueden ser del pasado, del futuro de ah, okay. cualquier, el, el adverbio no tiene no mm. tiene un tiempo ok, si por ejemplo yo, para así decir, yo diría yo jugaba bien I played soccer very well when I was uh, when I was young yo jugaba muy bien cuando era joven I played soccer very well 
when I was young. Now, I don't play very well. Okay, ahora no juego muy bien, right? Don't. Se puede usar en negativo también. Okay, I don't cook very well. I don't sing very well, and so on. Okay. Then, uh, uh, preparen también ustedes. Gracias. Preparen ustedes también Thank preguntas you. de este tipo para mañana. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, de, de dudas que tengan y las mm -hmm. discutimos tomorrow. Okay. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.